Greetings to everyone. I'm really honored to be taking part in this event and really sorry I can't be with you in person because I believe that the issue being discussed is so terribly important. How can we best advance Red Plus? We all know that deforestation around the world is contributing to the warming of our planet, but that's not the only reason why it's important to protect forests. We must also protect them because they support a great wealth of animal and plant species, and destruction of this habitat is leading to the extinction of many species every day. So if we protect our forests, we not only slow down climate change, but also help stop the continuing loss of biodiversity. And we must preserve the biodiversity of the forest, that whole array of animal and plant species that are interrelated in a complex way that ensures the health and long-term survival of the forest as a whole. People living in and around forests have always had a special knowledge about the plants and animals living there, an understanding that often goes deeper than that of science. But in the face of poverty, such understanding may have to be disregarded as people struggle to sustain themselves. And over time, the old way of living in harmony with nature is forgotten or made impossible because of population growth. And so their forests get more and more degraded and the animals become increasingly endangered. How do we protect biodiversity and forests in areas where so many people are living in poverty and turning to the bounty of the forests for their very livelihood? For me, Red Plus is very exciting because it allows for an integrated approach to this problem. An approach that combines poverty reduction, sustainable forest management, especially by local communities, conservation of species, and forest protection for carbon sequestration. If Red Plus programs with proper regulatory mechanisms can be developed around the world, especially in biodiversity-rich areas, then indeed we can have hope for the future. Hope that we can slow down climate change. Hope that our children's children can know and marvel at the amazing diversity of life in the forest. With the diverse array of influential and wise people assembled in Cancun today, including World Bank President Robert Zolik, from whom you're about to hear, I'm confident we can take a huge step forward towards protecting the world's forest heritage for generations to come. Finally, let us not forget that forests are beautiful in their own right, for me, the most enchanted places on earth. And to remind us that we humans are not the only beings who matter, let me bring into this meeting a voice from the forest, the greeting call of the chimpanzee. <laughs> Thank you, and best wishes for your success here in Cancun. <laughs>